Kaylin, on Money Matters this morning, a Trump presidency is uh, certainly calling into question the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, and there's also some surprise secrets to the cruise industry. Joya Das joins us live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. So, how do we get the most bang for our buck on a cruise? Bruce and Jen, good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Well, you can search online. That's certainly one way. But actually buying the ticket through a cruise agent is another one. Fox News quotes cruise experts who say that not all discounts may be necessarily available online. Also, of course, you want to book early and being flexible with your dates will always get you a better price. It certainly makes sense. So, Joya, Southwest began its flights to Cuba over the weekend. A lot of people looking forward to making this trip. That's right. Southwest joined JetBlue and American Airlines on Sunday in offering regular flights from the Miami area airport to Cuba. Now, this inaugural flight on Sunday departed from Fort Lauderdale Hollywood, Hollywood International Airport. It departed at 11.05 a.m. and touched down less than an hour later in Cuba. 143 passengers were on that maiden flight along with a five-member Southwest crew. Very cool. Hey, what's this about a consumer protection group in need of some protection itself? Well, the, the Bureau could find its powers actually scaled back by President-elect Donald Trump and a Republican-led Congress. The Bureau, if you'll recall, was actually established right after the financial crisis to essentially be a watchdog for banks, insurance companies, and mortgage businesses. But now cr some critics say that the agency probably has too much power and it's not accountable to anyone else. So, Joy, we're hearing that oil could be headed even lower. What's the inside scoop? I know. Yeah, well, Forbes managed to talk to some energy experts who predict that oil is going to fall all the way back to $20 a barrel. Things could actually be pretty bumpy in the near future as, it, as it, oil makes its way back to the lows that we saw back in January, mainly because OPEC probably is not going to make good on its output freeze. All right, Joy Das from Wall Street, thank you very much.